In this video, I will go over how to make a glitter camouflage marble tumbler. The supplies for this tumbler are a prepped tumbler, electrical tape, epoxy and PPE, your glitter selections, medicine cups and popsicle sticks, and then the two vinyls that I used were a holographic orange vinyl and metallic blue vinyl. The glitters that I used were Glitzy City's Pinky Promise, Mr. Nola's Glitters Construction Zone and Twin Span, Peachy Olive Glitters Bejeweled, Bolt Glitters Gecko Green, and then I also included the Illumilites Phosphorescent Powder. I started by prepping this cup by taping it on the top and the bottom and then giving it a good sand so that the glitter mixture would adhere. And then I created the different epoxy mixes of glitter that I wanted to use for my glitter. I just added glitter to epoxy in five separate cups until it had a good consistency and until it was opaque and I couldn't see through it just to make sure it had good coverage since I did not base paint this. You could also base paint a color and then do the next step, which I'm doing here. I went around and just put random spots onto the tumbler to make it kind of spread out and even since I did have five different colors that I wanted to use. And I kind of let them just drip. I'm using my hand turner here and that's what you see I'm turning the cup with the PVC pipe that I have in there. It's just a PVC through wood and with a football on the end of it and then I have my cup attached to that. And I wanted to give it time to kind of just drip and move around the cup as I added the color to it. So that's what I'm doing here. Watching the nightly news Don't seem to find the rhythm Just wanna sing the blues Feels like a song that never Stops Feels like it's never gonna Gotta get that fire fire Back in my bones Before my heart Heart turns into stone So won't somebody please Pass the megaphone I'll shout it on the count of three I did that with each of my colors and I just kind of used my popsicle stick and smeared them a little bit because as I worked with this my epoxy did thicken up as I worked with it and I don't remember which epoxy I was using at the time. I believe it was either Ultra Clear or FX, but it got fairly thick fairly fast. So it was a little bit hard to get it to move once I got to this point. I did just move different lines. I added pink, as you can see, going up and down because I wanted to just kind of have different areas and not all consistent in the direction either. Um, I really wasn't going for a specific design when I did this, but when I got done, it looked most like a glitter camo cup that was kind of marbled. So that's why I'm calling it the glitter camo, <laughs> glitter camouflage marble.
that joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. Never 
knew that the fear could cripple my chest in the blink of an eye the light left so lonely it is so lonely tonight is and i wish i knew why yeah i wish i knew why away on a lonely shore I can see in your eyes dear it's hard to take for a moment more I continued adding all of my colors until I had all of the spots that were silver filled in and then just kept kind of going over them to make sure that they were as flat as possible like I said the epoxy did start to thicken up so it was kind of creating some bumps so if I were to do this again I would definitely probably wait to mix all of my colors of epoxy I would do maybe a couple at a time instead of doing all of my colors at once and adding them that would give like a new batch would give it time to kind of you know move on the cup as this one was a little bit stuck 
and I ended up having to move it with a popsicle stick quite a bit in order to get it to move and blend. I did use my heat gun there. I don't know if you saw that, but I did use my heat gun just to kind of loosen it up and let it flow a little bit more uh, because it was so thick when I applied it. And that did help a little bit. At this point, I took a toothpick and just drew it down my cup to give some just little added details in there. This is something that you would have to do if you were going for the camo um, look, but I did it just to kind of break up the way that it looked and just give it a little bit more texture and, and um, difference in the way that it looked. Since my epoxy was a little bit thicker on the thicker side anyway, I did have to hand turn this for a little bit just until it stopped moving and that was just to make sure that it doesn't all end up dripping down onto one side and getting a big like dip in the way that the epoxy looks. So um, I did hand turn it just a little bit to make sure that it was done moving and then I removed my tape. You could also put this on your rotisserie and apply the glitter that way. I wanted to be more precise with how I was placing mine, so I chose to do it on my hand turner as opposed to my rotisserie when I did this, but you could also do it on your rotisserie and then just leave your rotisserie sp spinning instead of having to hand turn it like I did. And this was the final result. I really liked the way that this vinyl that I used for the decal, the Wife Mom Boss, looked and matched really well with the actual colors that I used as well. And I did an offset, which I have a video that you can check out for how to do the offset. I did use the Alumalite Phosphorescent Powder in two of my glitter colors. I believe it was the blue and the yellow, and that added this glow to it, which was pretty cool. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Drop me a comment if you have any questions.